Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, and guess what? I've had another delivery, and it's time for issue two of Build the DeLorean from Eagle Moss. Can't wait to get cracking on this. Okay, both issues came together. Actually, I've got issues one, two, and three came uh, all together. Um, and uh, no free gifts. That's coming in the next one, which has already been dispatched. So I'll be getting four, five, six, seven, and I'll also be getting the out of time number plate, which comes to subscribers. Uh, let's have a look what we got. Uh, got the magazine, as you can see. Uh, tell us what's in the magazine, and here's all the bits here. Look, we've got the wing and uh, other bits that will complete the number plate that we worked on in the last issue. Uh, I'll have a quick flick through the magazine just so you can see. The good thing about Eagle Moss is they have all of the instructions right at the very start uh, telling you what to do and I will uh, enlarge these as I do the build so you can see what bit I'm working on and just some more information about the film and stuff like that. Great magazine actually so uh, this is what's coming in the next issue. I've already got the next issue so uh, I'll probably be making a video directly after this one but uh, let's get on with the build. Okay, as you can see, I've already opened these pieces up, and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, let's get on with the build. Uh, I've got glue this time. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but uh, you never know. But we definitely need the part that we worked on last time, because as you can see, we've got some extra parts here for the uh, brake lights and stuff like that. Um, but the other thing is, we also got some more BP and AP screws. Uh, I've got my other ones from issue one here. I'll probably start using those first before going on to the second ones. Uh, but let's get building. Looks like we're going to build a nice wing. Let me talk about the wing first off. It's metal and it feels quite heavy. It's got like a goldish tinge to it rather than a seal. Actually, it looks really good actually. I've seen some pictures of people's wings which have got marks and stuff on and already got uh, dents. And, but as you can see, this one looks pretty cool. So, uh, really good quality. That's made me really excited for the rest of the series here. Uh, and also, just as a bit of fun, just at the front cover of this magazine, I noticed that their little DeLorean here in the picture, they got a little wonky sticker there. So uh, the stickers are causing uh, an absolute pain for the people who make the uh, models for Eagle Moss, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, let's get uh, building on this. Right, the first thing he wants me to do is we're going to be putting these um, black sections here onto the... Um, car here and secure them from behind. Um, it's going to look a bit like that, making sure that the um, slanted bit is going by the wheel arch here. And it wants me to put these in with um, the AP screws. As I said, I'm going to use the AP screws from um, the last issue first. Um, I'm guessing we're going to be getting some um, spares anyway. But uh, if I get all of them out, I'm not going to need that bag anymore. Uh, where's my screwdriver? I'm using my R2-D2 screwdriver this time. Um, I've just done a build your own R2-D2 with Diagostini today, so uh, that video is already up, but let's screw these in. I'm really happy with the quality of this wing. The metal, I mean, this car is going to be heavy, I'll tell you that now, it's going to be heavy, um, just by this wing alone. But uh, let's get these bits in here, and as you can see, that's the first bit in! Yay! <laughs> okay, the next bit, we're going to put, put in this little bit in here. Again, with the uh, beveled edge, or let's put that behind my hand, so that it's in line with the wheel arch here. Uh, let's get that little bad boy in. A bit fiddly, that one is. Okay, I'm just having a look at this, because it doesn't seem to be going in properly. What's going on? I'm going to make sure that I am putting this in the right way. Yeah, I'm definitely putting it in the right way. I'm hoping when I screw this down, then it's going to pin it down, because it doesn't seem to want to be doing that. Got a little bit of a beveled edge there. How many screws do we want to put it in with? It's only the one screw. Okay, well, we'll put the one screw in and see what it looks like. making sure I'm putting it in the right hole. The screw holes are the ones with the, the bigger section rather than the section there. Uh, this can only go in the one way. <laughs> so, 
the other one hasn't got a screw hole so obviously this is being held in by the one image that's not too bad actually I was a bit worried that I don't think you want to screw this in too tightly because it will start li lifting the edge there I don't know if you can see it's got a little bit of a lift on it the edge there if you don't screw it in too tight it's not going to do that but that is what it looks like pretty cool okay the next thing is we need to put this to one side I'll keep that there so you can admire that and we're going to be getting to work back on this section again with the brake lights here okay uh, just like last time we're going to be putting the lights in the configuration they want so uh, let's have a look how this is going to go uh, we're going to have um, this section in there like so uh, I know this bit goes like that I know this bit goes like that from doing the first one whoops the other way around so you have the the fascia around the outside there and then this section goes in like that that's that light done now this section gets secured to the back here with uh, I'm just gonna make sure I'm using the right screws here with a BP screws so let's put those to one side and get the BP screws out because uh, if you saw my first video the all, all the bits fell out again afterwards <laughs> which wasn't good and I can't even get into the right you know what I'm breaking the bag I can't get into it so let's uh, get them out I only need two screws anyway um, I just want to make sure that the the light does look okay yep it looks absolutely lovely so the way I did this last time was I slipped this in here oh and they all fell out again oh gravity you are the bane of my life <laughs> let's put that back in now obviously these bits are only held in once it's screwed in so uh, it's in my interest to make sure that they're in properly because I'm not going to get another chance again but this time let's do it properly let's bring this bit to it like that it's come out again as you can see this video is completely unedited because these are the problems you guys are going to get as well so I'm uh, I am doing it the way that you're going to see it as well okay that's in perfect I'm gonna hold it there and we'll get these BP screws in uh, they basically go into I'm just checking which holes they go into okay so the hole next to this one so we've got one there get that in that's one in and the second one does it only get held in by one hole yeah it only gets held in by one hole well there you go look at that that looks pretty cool can you see that very happy with that that looks pretty cool I'm just making sure that they're in quite firmly this is not in completely so I'm guessing I've got more room to screw I don't want to thread this screw too much that's better I'm happy now <laughs> There you go, so that bit's in there. Next bit, we're going to be putting the number plate on. Now, the number plate, which I did last time here, uh, is going to go... Uh, click the assembled number plate holder and base into the space between the two light panels and the car rear section. So it's going to go in here, but it is a really snug fit. You have to really push it in there. But that's going to go in like that. Uh, look, I'm doing this upside down. I should really be doing it the way you can see it. So, uh, so blue Peter time. There we go pretty happy with that I'm just looking at how this is looking here I'm not overly happy with this uh, number plate at the moment I might go back and do that afterwards because uh, the problem I've got is that it's it's coming up at the lip here I don't know if you can see that so let me just cut here and uh, I'll fix that Okay, yeah, I'm happy now. I'll fix that lip there so you can see the lip's done now. Um, 
bit funky to make sure you do have a good lip at the bottom of it here because if you don't then it's going to look like the uh, the lights are warped but the outer time number plate fits snugly in there to be honest with you it probably wouldn't even need any screws but it wants me to use the small AP screws again uh, in these two holes here to keep that attached so we'll do that now now these are going in really well and easy so that is a good sign <laughs> and that's the second one in there don't over tighten the screws because the screws will round because of how uh, fine and stuff this is this is why you go through so many screwdrivers if you remember in my last video uh, but that's pretty much the back done uh, which looks absolutely brilliant and guess what that is also part two done of build the DeLorean so there you go that's what it looks like let's get it in the right light so you can see the DeLorean logo there pretty cool uh, already weighty this is just a bumper with some lights and a uh, and a number plate on it and obviously I'm guessing that we're gonna have LEDs going in here operating the brake lights so uh, what do you think of that pretty cool anyway that's issue two I hope you enjoyed that we'll do issue three shortly after so you get to see that video I am splitting the videos down into issue segments so that way if someone's working on issue four they can just go straight to issue four and not have to sit through me building four issues at the same time i hope uh, you appreciate why i'm doing that but other than that take care of yourselves see you later